The Nigerian Institution of Mechanical Engineers says it is bringing together its members across board to brainstorm and come up with alternative energy sources to foster national development. Professor Mohamed Ndalimon, national chairman of the institution, discussed this in Abuja at a news conference to announce the forthcoming 34th International Conference and Annual General Meeting of the institution with the theme Harmonizing and Optimization of Nigeria's Energy Potentials for Sustainable Development. The chairman said the conference programs would also feature hands-on skills training and mentoring of young engineers to enhance professional development. The three-day conference will commence on November 17 with mechanical engineers from all parts of the country and beyond in attendance with technical sessions, panel discussions, fellowship conferment and awards to members who've contributed to the growth of the sector. Special presentations will be made by our partners. We will also have various technical sessions also to be made thereafter by various experts. We're going to have among the activities line of various categories of our work. We're going to have fellowship award to distinguish the recipient and we're going to also have a distinguished performance award to members and supporters of the institution. We also have various programs for young uh, body engineers. These are young graduates and the students. We're going to have among their programs, we include some training workshops and also month mentoring program. Nigerian Institution of Mechanical Engineers has been one of the institutions that has, over the past few years, distinguished itself in mentoring and training of the uh, young ones. It's only last year we opened a platform for mentoring and internship uh, programs for the young ones where matching uh, used to take place. Those in different interested areas are matched with experts for mentoring. And also those that need internship are also matched with various areas available for them to conduct their internship. For his part, the immediate past chairman of the institution and EU Pact Climate Ambassador, Mr. Robinson Elijah, called for innovative alternative energy sources for national development. We are all aware that we are at the brink of an apocalypse. Mm. That's not shying away from it. Uh, the match note that has been sounded, and there's a need for us now to begin to reappraise our lifestyle and significantly cut down on carbon footprints. Fossil fuel is basically one of the problems we have in this world. Um, well over 40% or thereabouts of the CO2 emissions we have in the atmosphere today, um, manufacturing industries, the oil and gas industry, the transportation industries are culprits. So it's a challenge, an engineering challenge, that every engineer, irrespective of your specialization and discipline, should begin to think about uh, bringing about innovations, introducing some innovations to bypass. And uh, that is the reason why we have to go back to the drawing board and think about how to engage other sources of energy to drive our economy, uh, to move around from one part of the world to the other, and also run our lives.